Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's makeup, I did a Savannah Crystally inspired makeup tutorial. I really have been enjoying Crystally Knows Best, this show, and I really got obsessed with the characters, especially Savannah, and I was talking to her one day and she had these beautiful pictures of her and her makeup, and I was looking at the artist, which is Emily Jimmy Sun, I think that's how you say it, and I was just stalking her Instagram feed and she had a lot of the pictures of makeup that she did for Savannah and I was really obsessed with this one picture, like it was a video actually of inspiration for the makeup and it wasn't, it was just the eyes and it was like this beautiful like just dark cool tone brown black smoky eye with like lots of liner um, and it said in the comments saying that she used the MAC Blue Brown pigment as like a pop of blue and in the video it didn't look super like blue brown everywhere. It just was very very subtle so I had a little bit of that subtle pigment on my eyelids so I really like how this turned out like I am totally obsessed with it. It's super glowy and full coverage as well. I used a ton of full coverage makeup in this tutorial. So if you love your full coverage, this is definitely for you. Um, and I just really love how it turned out. It's definitely different than what I usually do. Um, I usually don't do this quite um, dark and black on my eyes just because they're blue and sometimes I feel like they can't handle it. But I think this is really fun just to like switch it up. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys like it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you guys like this celebrity inspired um, makeup, then please let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more and if there's specific celebrities you guys want me to recreate their makeup. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video again and let's get on to the tutorial. So I did my brows off camera and now I'm going to dip into Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and Creme Boulet with the MAC 224 blending brush and I'm going to blend that in my crease and really buff it out. And then next, I'm going to be using mousse from the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Palette. And with the MAC 217, I'm going to be placing that color on the outer half of my lid and also blending that into my crease just to deepen it up a bit more. Moving on to Charcoal Brown from MAC, I'm going to be using the same MAC 217 brush and blend it on the outer third of my eyelid and just sweeping it a little bit into the crease again deepening up the outer part of my eye. And going back in with the MAC 224 brush, I'm going to be blending all the shades together. Next with the Tarte Lip Palette, I'm going to be using Multitasker in the corner with a pencil brush and I'm going to be packing that on the outer third of my eyelid. I like to do it in a downward motion just to have a little bit extra definition for the eyelashes. And then I'm also going to sweep it upward in the crease and blend that out with the MAC 217. I like to pack the eyeshadow on and then blend and then pack again and then blend just so everything doesn't look too harsh and it's all blended yet it's still very rich in color. Now I'm going to be going in with the MAC pigment in blue brown and this is what the makeup artist used on Savannah and it didn't look super intense so that's why I'm using a pencil brush to lightly pack it on in between where we put the um, smoke shade and the lid color just so it's a really nice transition and it's going to be super cool because it has a bit of blue flex to it. All right, we are moving on to the face, and I'm going to start off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I love this one because it creates such a great base to apply any foundation on top. And for foundation, I'm going to be using one of my Holy Grail Full Coverage Foundations, and this is the Hourglass Vanishing Stick, and I'm going to be using the Morphe... 239 buffing brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to use for stick foundations and I'm going to be buffing that all over my face. And now I'm going to go back in with the stick foundation and apply that where I need a little bit extra coverage and that was my cheeks and a little bit by my jawline and my nose. And then going back in with the Morphe buff buffing brush, I'm going to just buff that into the skin so everything looks flawless and evenly covered. 
An oldie but a goodie, I'm going to be using the Eve Pearl Salmon Corrector underneath my eyes and I'm going to be packing that on with my finger. I find that it blends and applies much easier with the finger so that's what I suggest. Next I'm going to be trying something new. I'm going to be mixing the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette with um, the very light highlight shade with the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer in number seven. And I mixed those two together so it was just the right color for highlight underneath my eyes and the rest of the face. These are both very heavy creams, so the best way to blend it out, in my personal opinion, is with a synthetic brush, and this Dalian Tools brush is my favorite brush ever. I can't remember the number, but I will have it in the description bar down below. And I'm going to be using those same two creams to highlight the rest of my face, and again blending it out with the Dalian Tools brush. I'm now going to go back in with the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette and I'm going to be using the contour shade to contour the rest of my face. So I'm going to be contouring my cheekbones, my nose, and all over my lips. I've been trying really hard to focus on making my lips look bigger. And now I'm going to be doing a new technique where I'm actually going to be carving out my contour underneath my cheekbones and my lips and then I'm going to blend that out with the beauty blender by patting it in and pressing and rolling it into the skin. By doing this technique the product is going to stay where you place it on your skin but it's going to blend it out with your control of how you use the beauty blender. So it's a fantastic trick for blending out your contour without making it go everywhere on the face. I'm now going to finish my contour by using the same cream contour on my forehead and I'm going to blend that out with the Morphe buffing brush we used for foundation. Now I'm going to be doing a little bit of baking with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and using a powder puff to bake underneath my contour and underneath my eyes for a flawless complexion. Now going back to eyes, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs gel liner in black to draw a thin line across my entire lash line. And I'm going to be blending that and smudging it a little bit with a flat definer brush from MAC. And I don't want this liner to be super harsh, I want it to be a bit more softer. So that is why I'm blending it with this brush. And then I'm gonna go back in with the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Palette and use that black shade in the corner to kind of smudge the liner a little bit more and to make that black color more intense. Using a clean fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to smoke out that line just a bit more. Now I'm going to use the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in black to tight line and apply that to my waterline for a super sultry look. Now I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow Smoke from Anastasia. I'm going to pack that on the MAC 239 Flat Defining Brush and I'm going to sweep that underneath my eyes all the way to the inner corner for that really smudgy sexy look. And again I'm just going to use a blending brush just to diffuse and smoke out the lower lash line. And now I'm going to go in with mascara and I'm going to use my itty bitty travel size of the Benefit um, Roller Lash Mascara which is a really awesome mascara. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Bronzer with this awesome fluffy brush from MAC. I don't remember the number but I will have it in the description bar down below and I'm sweeping that all over my temples. And now I'm going to go in with the Sleek Contour Kit in Light and this is an awesome contouring color very neutral which is perfect for contouring and I'm using this brush from Sigma the F40 brush to apply it to my temples and my cheekbones and I'm really applying that heavily to my cheekbones because Savannah had a very awesome cut out contour line and so I want to recreate that on myself. To finish contouring I'm going to dust a little bit underneath my jawline I'm also going to contour my nose and all around my lips. Moving on to highlighter, I'm going to be using this brand new product I just got from Dosa Colors. And this is the 
pressed highlighter in gold is the new black and I'm sweeping that on with the Artist Couture fan brush and oh my goodness I absolutely love this highlighter and I place that on my cheekbones, my chin, the cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, my inner tear duct and below the arch. As you can tell I'm going for a very glowy look. Next, I'm going to apply the House of Lashes Sweet Romance Lashes. In the picture, she didn't look like she had crazy big lashes, so that's why I am using these ones. And moving on to my lips, I'm going to be lining my lips with the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil, the perfect contouring lip pencil ever. And then I'm going to be using the NARS Lipstick in Bella De Jour, a perfect nude for this look. In the picture she had very nude lips and this is my perfect very nude lips so that's why I went with these colors. And that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys loved it and I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye everyone!